Hey everyone, KiwiKing77 here again from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to unroot the Nexus S 4G for Sprint. It's going to put you back to complete stock in case something goes wrong with your phone. You need to unroot it, uh, put it back to stock, or in case you need to take it back to Sprint so to make sure they don't know that it has been rooted. So, just a heads up, this process is going to wipe all your data and it will... Uh, wipe your SD card as well. So just a heads up for that. Make sure everything. Well, I guess not your SD card, but your your memory internally. Um, it's going to wipe everything. Your pictures, everything. So make sure those are all backed up on your PC. Um, make sure you're, if you want to back up your apps with um, with an app or back up your uh, contacts as well. So. Let's just hop into it. Uh, you're going to need to make sure you have drivers installed on your PC. Um, just download PDA Net. Um, I'll post the link in the description of the video. Uh, if you have a 32 bit Windows, 64 bit Windows, just install it, download it, and install PDA Net. That'll install the drivers for you. Just follow the on screen instructions. It's pretty simple. <clears throat> if you do have any problems with those, you can always ask me. I can help you out. Anyways, so now once you have your drivers installed, um, I guess you can go ahead and go back to another link I have in the description. Uh, it's called One Click Return to Stock for Nexus. Click Download This Zip. It's going to download to your computer. Um, it's going to look. It's going to be called One Click Stock Zip. That's it. You're going to need either WinRAR 7-Zip or WinZip. Just double click on it. It's going to give you all these files. What I actually do is I make a folder on my desktop. I call it Nexus Unroot. Um, I just hit Extract to and then find Nexus Unroot on my desktop, which is right there. Click on it and then hit OK and it extracts all the files. Uh, to show you, I will go there and all those files are now in that folder that are that's on my desktop. Um, you're just going to need to double click on run.bat. Um, it says one click stack for Nexus S4G. Thanks to Michael <laughs> Pierman for this. Um, on my phone, I'm running the MIUI ROM. As you can see, you're going to need, I believe, I don't know if you need to have USB debugging on, but I do. Um, so if you do want to have a precaution, turn on USB debugging. Let me grab my keyboard real quick. Sorry about this. Um, anyways, now uh, go ahead and go to there and press any key to continue. So I'm going to press a key. Uh, warning, this will wipe all your apps, contacts, everything, including your SD card. Um, just letting you know. Okay, so ensure you have USB debugging enabled. So you will need USB debugging. To do that, you go to your phone, press menu, settings, um, and then go to programs or applications if you're on a... Um, Android ROM and just hit development settings and then have USB debugging on right there. So once you ensure USB debugging is enabled you can go ahead and just plug your phone in like so. Plug it in, make sure USB debugging is on um, and then once it is you can just hit any key to continue press any key should get going my phone is actually going into the bootloader as you can see right there um, it says if your phone's not on the bootloader screen or stays on waiting for a device for too long there was an error so uh, press any key to continue if your phone is on the bootloader if not just start restart the process and try again press any key um, it says sending boot finished um, it's doing some stuff on the bootloader screen down here as well. So I guess I can have both of these up here for you. This actually, this process actually does take a decent amount of time, so be patient with it. This is actually going to take it to out of box settings, so your bootloader will be locked again. So at the bottom it says the fast boot status, it's flashing system, which it says writing system on the one click. So just a heads up there. Writing recovery. Writing user data. Again, everything will be done 
on the bootloader screen of your phone so make sure it gets to the bootloader screen and then press the key to continue if it doesn't get to the bootloader then you definitely need to redo it again um, it says congrats you're back to stack your phone should be rebooting now which it is it reboots your phone as you can see my little lock isn't at the bottom which you would have noticed if I'm just gonna press any key it just exits out of the script and my phone is booting back up once it boots up I will show you guys I no longer have super user and obviously I won't be running the MIUI ROM anymore um, but once that boots up I'll show you guys exactly what it does alright now that my phone is booted up it takes me to the um, just basically the Android start screen touch it to continue I'm gonna skip all these setups just because I don't need to set anything up at the moment um, and anyways now I am back to stock uh, on my Nexus S 4G, I believe this is 2.3.4, not 2.3.5. Go to settings, about phone, and then, yeah, see, I'm on Android 2.3.4. As you can see, the OTA just does just go to your phone. I believe you can just hit system updates. Um, maybe not, sprint system updates. But I do. I have run through this process, and it actually does update my Android version to 2.3.5 over the air. I believe 3G is being used right now because it's downloading the update from my phone right now. Yep, there it is. Sprint Nexus S OTA. So it's downloading the 2.3.5 update for me. So this will definitely get you back to stock, completely updated to 2.3.5 Gingerbread. So in case you were wondering about that, it does update it for you. Um, anyways, if you do have any questions, uh, I guess I can show you I no longer have super user in my app drawer. As you can see, places, settings, tags, no super user. But um, anyways, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out as best as I can. Uh, you can always follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links will be in the description of the video. And be sure to subscribe for future how-to videos for your phone. Um, thanks for watching.